Metro Police have a dangerous and sometimes a pretty gruesome job. Time after time, they have to search through bloody crime scenes looking for clues. But more often than not, the bloody scene is the clue they're looking for. Crime team reporter Dave Malkoff joins us now to explain. Yeah, we've been working on this story for quite a while, and what we're about to show you is real human blood. It may make some people uneasy, but it is the way that murders are solved here in Las Vegas. Tonight, the crime team looks at the science of murder. A violent death, a bloody murder. Bloodstains on the wall are far from a random spattering. There's many different ways to solve murder cases. Sometimes the dead speak in a macabre tongue. The blood talks through a science called blood spatter analysis, an extremely rare police discipline. Currently, throughout the world, there are 21 individuals who are certified. And out of those 21, there are four in Las Vegas that work for Metro. And that there's blood in this water. Daniel Holstein and Joe Madfay are two of the four. They spent a long I mean, time studying for this certification outside. and a long time experimenting. These experiments won't work with just red paint or animal blood. You're dealing with the murder investigation here. It's got to be authentic. Other bloods are similar, but they're not necessarily the same. The surface tension, the viscosity, there might be other areas within the blood that will not be consistent with human blood. So they use real human blood. Blood that Daniel draws from his family and friends. Co-workers, myself, family, whoever I can get it from. This experiment required one more volunteer. Although this blood has been tested so that we know there's nothing wrong with it, sure. we do want to take some standard safety precautions. Real human blood on the sponge. A simulated crime on the wall. The blood has been forced from the sponge onto the wall. As the blood begins to separate, the story comes together. This is consistent with what we call medium velocity forceful impact spatter. From the stain and the stain alone, they know that the murder weapon was a blunt instrument. You can see this blood here, you can see that it's somewhat elongated and that there are tails on portions of the blood. You'll see that here, the tail is actually the direction that the blood is going. Even if the body has been moved in some way, the experts can reconstruct the crime, either through a mathematical equation or 